Hello and welcome to Film Autopsy. My name is Salman Hamid and I'm Assistant Professor of Integrated Science and Humanities at Hampshire College. Hello, I'm Kevin Anderson. I teach courses in film and anthropology at the University of Massachusetts. We're going to review the recent film documentary by uh, James Marsh, who had previously won an um, Academy Award for Best Documentary for directing Man on Wire. His latest film is Project Nim. Uh, project NIM is based on a book that chronicles a research project from the 1970s where a chimpanzee was uh, taught sign language and the, the ultimate question that was being asked was, are animals and chimpanzees in particular capable of uh, communicating with humans? Are they capable of the, having the facility for language? And uh, the film kind of goes beyond that particular premise that the scientists were looking at and I think asks uh, an even more important question is uh, are chimpanzees capable of creating emotional bonds with humans and I think this film uh, definitely uh, does a very good job exploring that. Well I think it's a, it was a fantastic film I really liked it and if you are going to see one film dealing with apes or chimpanzees uh, this year or this summer I think I think you should go for Project Nim. Uh, it's to be very honest, I mean, this was one of those films that when we actually went to see, did not expect that it's going to be a really heavy film, uh, something that's going to really shake you up emotionally. Uh, but this is certainly a wonderfully constructed documentary, but a story that goes beyond the scientific issues. Uh, just to mention uh, uh, this part, this uh, doesn't come up in the film, but uh, the the chimp's name is Nim Chimpsky, which is an obvious reference to Noam Chomsky, uh, the uh, linguist uh, from, uh, from MIT, uh, who believes, Noam Chomsky believes that, uh, that language is innate. And here is a researcher, Herbert Spencer uh, of Columbia University, who wanted to show that wrong, and he wanted to bring in sort of like the nature-nurture debate. And he thought that if you raise a chimp in a human environment, then a chimp would be able to construct grammar and sentences. Uh, but I think the power of the film lies not about the chimpanzee or the chimpanzee can do, Nim, but rather about the actions of the people around him and what that tells us about human beings. Uh, and so, so I think it was, uh, it, it was a very interesting film. And Herbert Spencer, I don't know why he would participate in the film because ultimately he comes off as uh, looking like an ass. Another animal comparison. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. It reminded me of um, Robert McNamara in um, Errol Morris's film, The Fog of War. And I got the feeling that uh, 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 Terrace was involved with the film possibly as a means of redemption for his uh, kind of inflated ego, his uh, kind of rather uh, uh, blunt actions and lack of emotion in terms of how he conducted this experiment. Um, one of the criticisms that has been raised about the film uh, that I've read is that, well, there's not, it's interesting, but it doesn't go all the way. There's not quite enough science in it. And I, I think that's kind of an unfair criticism because the film is not really interested. It's in, its focus is not the science. It's interested in it, but its focus is on things like ego, um, emotional bonds, abandonment issues, um, interspecies, you know, communication, and more along the lines of like camaraderie and companionship. And all those things, I think, are quite hard to quantify. So uh, I think the film does a really good job. Um, it's also well made. The interviews, the cast of characters that he chose um, that were part of Nim's life, scientists and then people who are, you know, uh, in the homes that uh, Nim was raised in, um, are interviewed uh, very well. It makes for a very compelling film, full of interesting characters that I think ultimately says as much about human behavior as it does about chimpanzee behavior. And it's the characters that make the film because they are weird characters to a certain degree. And, and it's a documentary, so you know that those people are real. They're colorful. They are colorful. OK, they are colorful. And, uh, and a lot of them actually bring up the 70s also. So there is this uh, particular context in there. Um, and I think you, you may have seen that in the trailer also. Uh, there is this uh, notion of that uh, first when Nim, in the first household that he was living, uh, it was uh, a little bit of a hippie uh, household. And, and so he was uh, running around. And so in some sense, it was a bit wild yes, uh, yes. Uh, for Nim's experience. <laughs> and, uh, but I think ultimately what I thought was fascinating about the film was, uh, was a discussion about, it didn't explicitly discuss it, but it, de it definitely brings the movie into the issue of ethics. How should we treat 
primates. And this is uh, an area I'm glad actually didn't really go into the film because, because the movie was a lot more about uh, the whole experiment and about uh, the people around it. But it did bring up issues, for example, about drug testing on chimpanzees, uh, l putting chimpanzees, for example, in confinement, in cages. What does that say? And in that context, I mean, this is a live debate. Uh, even within the last few decades, what was shown in the film, I think some of those things would be impossible to, to do them right now. Uh, and uh, I mean, I, I, a couple of years ago, the Spanish parliament passed this law uh, granting um, chimps uh, human rights. And uh, which means that whatever things that you cannot do to humans, you cannot do to primates. So all the testings and things like that go away. But it still raises tough questions. Uh, what are you going to do about, for example, a vaccine that is coming in? There is a harrowing, harrowing scene in the film about uh, chimps that are, uh, that are taken for, for testing uh, for medical purposes. What do you do with that? And I think those are tough questions that we need to grapple with. And I, I, I think I had a, a much more severe objection to that uh, with the Planet of the Apes, because I think it lost the opportunity to do this. This movie is really not about that, but I think it does such a fine job of actually bringing it up. It doesn't hammer you in, but it leaves you emotionally just like, okay, we have to really think about these things. I, I agree. I think the film um, does a good job of, it doesn't directly, it's not in direct conversation with these ethical issues, but I think the film can be used in, you know, uh, educational settings or whatever kind of, you know, social debates we might have about the ethics. I think the film uh, can be used in, in conversation with those issues, but I, I like how um, James Marsh does not try to accomplish too much with the film. I think he does a very good job of getting us um, to know and become familiar with the, the wide cast of characters, some of the issues um, brought about in terms of, uh, you know, the scientific question of communication between species. So ultimately, and I agree with Salman, I mean, it, it, the trailer does not bring up the, the heavier emotional kind of undercurrent to the film. And so I, I definitely recommend it, but certainly go in prepared for something that can be quite emotionally challenging. And if you don't know the full story, I would suggest don't read up before <laughs> that, because I think the movie uh, or the documentary does take twists and turns that are unexpected. You go like, okay, this may not be going in that direction, but it does. So I right. think uh, just purely from enjoyable enjoyment perspective, uh, again, enjoyment in terms, I mean, it is emotionally heavy, but enjoyment in the sense as a film, uh, it's very well done, very well crafted, uh, and do go and see it. And again, much, much better than Planet of the Apes, <laughs> and much better acting in this, tw in this one too. Yes, yes, okay. Well, I think it's a uh, recommendation from both of us for Project NIM.